so after adding all of the references and accordingly let's get back to the inventory script and right here now we need a reference to our all scripts for example the player script shotgun script handgun uz and the bazooka script because as you know for each of the weapons we have a different animations and a different script so whenever the player picks up any rifle and then hold that rifle in the hand then we want to change the animations according to that rifle and how we will change to that specific animations is by enabling and disabling the script for example if the player doesn't have any rifle then it means that the player script is active and then if the player draw the handgun then we will disable the player script and enable the handgun script so when the handgun script is activated then the animations which are connected to the handgun will be then played so once we type the code you will understand how this will work but for now let's add a header by the name of scripts you can name this whatever you want because i am paired with the names so now we will say public player script and let's name this as player script as well but the p will be small after this we need a reference to our shotgun script so we will say public shotgun and let's name this as shotgun script and in the similar way we need a reference to our handgun script and then the handgun2 script then the same for the uz so make sure that you add a reference to both of the uz script uz and the uz2 and then at the end as you know it is the bazooka so we will add a reference to that as well and after adding references to all of the scripts after this we need another header which will be by the name of inventory and now in here we will add all of the variables which are in relation with the inventory so the first one will be the reference to our inventory so we will say public game object and let's name this as inventory panel and after this we need a bool which will be by the name of is pause by default it will be equals to false and after this we will create now our main function which will be is a rifle active okay and then inside this function we will type all of the code for checking if the player picks up a rifle or not and then we will show that rifle in the player hand and then according to that rifle we will enable that specific script which is in relation with the rifle for example if the player picks up the handgun then we will show the handgun in the inventory and in the player hand as well and we will enable the inventory as well and also we will enable the handgun script as well if the player picks picks out the handgun but now before moving any further we need to make this weapon one picked true or actually you can say that we need some way to check that if the rifle if the player picks up the rifle in the environment or not and if the player picks up the handgun then we will set this to true if the player picks up the shotgun we will set this weapon 2 to true and if it is the weapon 3 then we will make the weapon 3 picked to true and the same for the weapon 4 as well and where we did all of these things it is inside the pickup item in the pickup item script we make or you can say allow the player to pick up the weapons inside the environment so by using this pickup item script we will make this variable to true but for this first of all we need a reference now to our inventory script so we will say public inventory and let's name this as inventory as well right here if we pick up the handgun then what we want to do we first decrease the player money and after doing that now 
we will say inventory dot weapon one dot set active and we will set it to true and this weapon one is this variable which is weapon one and if we see the reference right here for the weapon one which is it is basically this handgun so whenever the player picks up the handgun we will set this to true like that okay then it will show in the inventory so this line of a code well just do that and after showing the weapon in the inventory now also we want to make the is weapon one picked up to true as well okay this variable so we will say inventory dot is weapon one picked okay not active make sure that you select this is weapon one picked and set that to true now let's do the same to the other one as well so in here let's paste that and now instead of the weapon one we will say weapon two and right here as well so whenever now the player go ahead and pick up the shotgun then this shotgun will be seen like this in the inventory okay and the handgun as well if the player picks both if he picks just one then we will show one of that rifle or weapon right here and let me check out the errors it shows that error on the 35 line and 36 line it shows that this handgun cannot be found let me check out the rifle folder right here as you can see it is handgun and handgun 2 right here the g is small but we type it as capital so right here let me change the script name right here as well and then down below as well and once you change that the error will be solved as you can see so it is a lesson for you guys that you type the scripts name correctly okay so now we have done the inventory setup for the first two weapons now let's do it for the third one as well so in here we will paste that code and change this to weapon 3 okay and then right here as well then let's do it for the weapon 4 as well so we will paste that and change this to weapon 4 and that will be it so now if the player picks up the, any of the rifles we will show that rifle in the inventory and also we will show that yes the weapon 1 or the weapon 2 is picked up for both at the same time or all of the weapon at the same time okay and now once we have the weapon picked up now as i told you and according to that weapon for example if the player picks up the handgun and the shotgun and then the player draw the handgun then what we will do we will disable all of the other scripts okay the player script the shotgun uz and bazooka script we will just enable the handgun script and then the handgun animator as well so the player plays the handgun script and the handgun animation as well and the same will be for the shotgun if the player draw the shotgun then we will enable the shotgun animations and also the shotgun script so now guys with this done we will continue our work on the inventory in the next video